Hello again in another episode of Gunfire TV. Specna Arms, it's not stopping in spoiling us airsoft players with new models of the replicas, but also with upgrades to the previous ones. So, in front of me, Specna Arms J Series Edge 2.0. Let's check out what are the differences and why are they better than the previous ones. As most of the high-end replicas of famous Aftermath, these are made mostly of steel. So let's begin from this kind of stock. This is made of steel. Uh, the co top cover and the receiver are of course made of stamped steel. Uh, fire selector of course also made of steel and something that it's not as, uh, as often the outer barrel is one piece steel made, so many uh, many players are upgrading their replicas with uh, outer barrel made of steel. This is right in the box. We can choose between different lengths of the barrel and different fronts. Here we've got wood, this is plywood by the way. Here aluminum with wrist rail on the top and short wrist rails on every side and on the bottom and M-lock all around here. So if you want the more tactical Specken Arms J, this is something that is waiting for you. Also, if you're more old school, but not uh, the most old school, you can choose polymer. As it's made uh, since, I don't know, like 20 years where they make them originally. And the kind of stock you will choose will resonate in the difference in those two types of replicas. But this I will show you in a sec. Alrighty then, so that's replica itself and now time for feeding mechanism and that is of course magazine. Two of those are in the box, these are mid-cap magazine, made, mid magazines made of polymer with uh, distinct with logos everywhere we are here on the surface which makes it very, uh, very nice in touch and looks really cool. 130 BBs each and something that many of players uh, buy as an extra accessory is Magwell Spacer that is here of course uh, put inside in the factory so you are unable to push the magazine too deep and that means that it will be always easier to, uh, to put the magazine into the replica. So if you're owner of something like this, like that sort, uh, write down in comments below if any AR owner one time put the magazines too deep, so you needed to use a lot of force to take it out. It happened to me several times. Now with Magwell Spacer, it won't happen. All right, so we've got replica, we've got magazine. Let's say that there are BBs inside, so to make it work, you need battery. This works with stick batteries because they are they are placed under the cover. As you can see, it uh, it is quite stiff and it's good. So you can put, this is uh, 1200 ma 11.1 LiPo. And as you can see, I can push it <laughs> really, really deep. So there's a lot of room here. Now, as you can see, this is T-Connect and this is small Tamiya. So in the box, there is also this adapter, which you can connect to the battery and the replica and wait for the beep. What's that? That's Aster. These replicas are, uh, are made with factory installed Aster and we'll get back to the Aster just in a second. Now, if you are ordering the replica and the battery like so, it is wiser to choose the T-Connect so you don't need to use this adapter. But if you've got something like this, you can still, still work it out because there's a plenty of room for you, for your disposal. Now, in the box, we'll find the small instruction how to program the Aster using just the trigger and the selector. So, let's put in the battery. Now, single fire. We need to pull the trigger and keep it pulled for about seven seconds. Remember to be sure that the replica has no BBs inside. Now, as you can see, the color of the LED is changed. Now, using the trigger and the 
lever will allow you to change the, uh, the settings. For example, three round burst or five round burst or few others. Now, if you want more options, you need to uh, buy Blue Link, which will work with Aster perfectly with a special app. Now it's time for the guts, the heart of those replicas. It's identical, either it's fixed stack or folding stack, but there is one teeny tiny difference. So, we've got a piston, all teeth are made of steel. A piston head is made of aluminum, cylinder, cylinder head is made of aluminum, gears are really, really sturdy, and the uh, spring guide has its own bearings. But the access to the spring guide is a little bit different. In models which, uh, with, which have folding stack, all you need to do is take off the top cover, which I already told you is a bit stiff, which I like. And here you've got a cut. Uh, which allows you to take out the spring. I'll show you this in a second. So you don't need to take the gearbox out uh, to change the spring. And there is second spring M90 in the box. If you want to go CQB, for example. Unfortunately, in models which, uh, in which the stock is fixed, you need to take out the gearbox or at least push it a bit up because with this kind of stock, you cannot reach it from uh, the behind. So that's the small difference. The rest is identical. To remove the main spring, all you need to do is to remove this small metal plate and then using hex key or white flat key, uh, remove the spring guide. I'll be honest with you, uh, something that I really, really do not like are this type of uh, sights. And I mean real steel or replicas, because I have some, I have some experience with using the real steel. And uh, the way to unleash more options of this kind of platform is to use red dot sight or maybe a scope. Nevertheless, do not, do not fear, because there is a sight rail here and with a special mount you can put either red dot sight or a scope on these beauties. And then you will be more efficient and will be able to aim faster and, more, and be more accurate. But if you like those, knock yourself out, <laughs> although I don't understand how you can do it. Leave a like. Leave a comment if you are a fan of this kind of replicas or maybe AR-15s or maybe both and subscribe our channel. See you again in another episode of Gunfire TV and I will leave you with this sight of beautiful replica with Aster mounted in the factory. This is not really, really uh, typical to buy this kind of replica with such advanced electronics.